Hello and welcome to Vanier Feud. Today we're going to find out who knows Vanier College better. Is it the teachers? <laughs> or is it the students? <laughs> We sent out a survey for students, teachers, and staff members to fill out, and it'll be their jobs to clear the board and find out what the top answers are. Are we ready? Yeah. Let's begin. Let's bring Natalie, let's bring Gator. Come on down. Okay, shake hands. Okay, great. One hand behind your back, one hand on the table. Here's your first question. question. What is the best gift to give a teacher? It was me. I'll give that to Natalie. A gift certificate. Show me gift certificate. And it's number two, Gator. Uh, an apple. Is apple on there? Okay, it's number three. So Natalie, do you get to choose pass or play? Pass or play. Pass or play. Play. play? play. They're gonna play. Yeah. Hey, Marie, how are you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> so, what do you teach? And really, yeah. Uh, what do you teach? And how long have you been teaching here? I teach math. <laughs> uh, Ed and I've been here forward, for how many uh, years? Been in your here? case, 47. <laughs> 47. Okay, wonder. Can you tell me what the best gift to give a teacher is? Um, alcohol? <laughs> is alcohol on there? Yes. It is. It's number four. Well done. All right, Miles, over to you. You have no strikes, so well done. I've never been so proud of Marie. That is no, great wait. to hear. I have never been proud of Marie. Oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> So, Miles, what do you teach and how long have you been teaching? I here? teach history and I've been here for 20 years. Feels like 47. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so what is the best chocolate. gift? Is chocolate up there? <laughs> well done. Jackie, alone, no help needed. You have zero strikes. You guys are doing really good. You guys are, you need four more. What is the best gift to give a teacher? Coffee. Is coffee up there? And it's number six, well done. By the way, I forgot to ask, what do you teach and how long have you been teaching there? Uh, what do I teach? I'm not sure. Uh, right. Anthropology, I think, right. something like that. And I've been here for 20 years. Okay, great. Uh, quick follow-up, what's anthropology? It's like sociology. <laughs> I, can I consult good. with my teammates? No. You should know this, you're my student. It's the study of humankind, past, present, biology, biology. Okay, great. All right, let's move on. Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, zero strikes, three more questions, uh, three more answers left. Uh, by the way, what do you teach and how long have you been teaching here? Sociology, 15 years. 15 years. Yeah, it or not. What's your answer? What is the best gift to give a teacher? I got it. You ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is <laughs> up on the board? <laughs> best gift ever. Want to be there. No, it's not! Aww. Well, I think the students could learn a thing or two. Uh, Marie, uh, you can blame Natalie for your first uh, and only strike. Let's hope yes, that let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope let's hope that doesn't happen again. No pressure. What do you think is the best gift to give a teacher? Well, it was alcohol, but um, <laughs> okay. No time. Sorry, we ran out of time. <laughs> the pressure's on to uh, Miles, and if not, then Jackie, which is great. Yeah. So yes, Miles, you have two strikes. Has the time started? So, uh, I haven't asked a question yet. <laughs> but how are you feel? How are you feeling? I've never felt so alive. <laughs> that is great to hear. Miles, could you please tell me what is the Excuse best gift? What? You're a little bit, right, okay, great. So, two strikes. I'm you have, gonna say a full set of china. A full set of china. <laughs> what every teacher dreams for, a full set of china. No, it's not, it's not on the board. Who would have thought, who would have thought? At least the pressure wasn't on to you, Jackie. That would have been horrible. All right, moving on to the next team. Uh, you get a chance to steal. Um, if not, then they keep their points, all right? So what is the best gift to give a teacher? I'm gonna say flowers. Is flowers on the board? It is! Well done to the students! The students get all the points. They steal all of that. All right, so let's find out what the answers we missed, all right? And what's number seven? Nothing! <laughs> That's right. What's number five? And it's good grades. Because they, they sleep, breathe, and eat grades. Because they have no other lives up outside of school. In fact, they live in school. All right, let's move on to the second question. Uh, let's bring Marie, let's bring Jessica. Come on, Marie! Come on, Marie! Stretch, Marie, Marie. I have no confidence Marie. in you. Come on. Stretch, stretch! Okay, great. One hand behind your back, one hand on the table. Here is your second question. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm reading the question. I'm what? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, ready? Other than a chair on the table. <laughs> no, what are you doing? <laughs> Other than a cheetah, what animal best represents Vanier? Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> this is what I meant when I thought that the. <laughs> Maybe you glue it. No, I'm, I'm thinking, Marie, it's up to you. What, what is, other than a cheetah, what animal best represents Vanier? A lion. Is lion on the board? Lion is number one. You get to choose, pass or play. All right, well, let's play. Miles, back to you. Um, <laughs> you don't get the question? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so other than a cheetah, what animal best represents Vanier? Full set of, no, it's, you know, I'm going to say squirrel. Yeah. You're going to say squirrel? Yeah. Well, let's see if the squirrel's up there. Is squirrel up there? Yeah. Squirrel is number two. Well done. All right. Jackie, you guys are going in order, actually. Uh, can you guess what number three is? Other than the cheetah, what animal best represents Vanier? Well, I'm going to stick with the feline theme and say cat. All right, is cat up there? No, it's not. Unfortunately, Cat is not up there. We're too feral to be up there. Um, all right, Natalie, up to you. I got this. All right, are you sure? A bird. A bird. I think you're going to have to be more specific than that, actually. I don't know all the species of birds. Well, guess of one. Those white guess ones. Guess of one. <laughs> oh, a seagull. A seagull. A seagull. A, Good a pigeon. Okay, is a seagull. Uh, which one? Which one? A seagull. A seagull. Is a seagull up there? No, it is not. Good thing you're no. not an English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marie, back over to you. You have two strikes. Be careful because you have one shot left. And if you don't get this one, then the other team gets to <laughs> the other team gets a chance to steal your points for a second time. Okay. So, other than a cheetah, what animal best represents Vanier? Um, elephant. All right, she's going for elephant. Is elephant up there? No, it's not. Unfortunately, elephant is not on the board. So I'm going to go back to the students. Now, students, how, how confident are you guys feeling? Very. Great. All right. So please tell me, other than a cheetah, what animal best represents Vanier? I'm going to say a tiger. Is tiger on the board? And it is. Well done. Points go back to students. They get to steal all your points again. Guys need to do better. Come on. All right, let's find out what we've missed. Uh, let's see what's number seven. A wolf. I don't know. You tell me. Number six. An eagle. That's why I asked you to specify. Uh, no <laughs> number five. A bear. And finally, number three. A sloth. All right, let's move on to this third question. Let's bring Miles and let's bring Jenny. All right. <laughs> Decent luck. All right, here's your third question. Name something you wouldn't want to see fall out of your teacher's pocket. Jenny? Condoms. Yeah. Condoms. Is condoms on the board? It's number one. Are you guys going to pass or play? Okay, we're going to go over to the students this time, finally. <laughs> Did you guys see the answers before this? It no, seems no, no, like, no. really? Oh. So Raya, it's up to you. What do you study and how long have you been at Vanier? So I'm in the Communications Media and Studio Art Program and this is my second semester at Vanier. Great. Um, <laughs> name something you wouldn't want to see fall out of your teacher's pocket. A cigarette. Is cigarette up there? It is, it's number four. All right, let's go da over to Gator. Gator, how, what do you study and how long have you been studying at Vanier? I study communications and this is my first semester. Okay, wonderful. Uh, could you please tell me, name something that you wouldn't want to see fall out of your teacher's pocket? I'll tell you. Jessica, what, what program are you in and how long have you been at Vanier? Uh, I'm in Communication, studio art. God, find something original, guys. Like, what? Are you in communication? Thank God, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, for God's sake. We all communication students. Guys are everywhere. All right, name something you wouldn't want to see fall out of your teacher's pockets. Drugs. Drugs? Is drugs on the board? It's number three. Well done. Nine people said that. Jenny, back over to you. What do you not want to see fall out of your teacher's pocket? 
A bra. A bra? Okay, a bra from a male teacher. <laughs> no, it's not on the board. All right, Soraya, you have one strike. You have two more chances, so no pressure. Best of luck. Name something that you do not want to see fall out of the pockets of your teacher. A student's phone. <laughs> a student's phone? And it's number six. Well done. Gator, back to you. Still have two more tries, so no pressure. Um, let's hope you guys clear the board. Um, <laughs> name something you wouldn't want to see fall out of your teacher's pocket. An alcohol can. A, an alcohol can. Is it up on the board? It is not. Jessica, no pressure, but you guys, you have two strikes, so that means you have one shot at this. Mm -hmm. Name something you wouldn't want to see fall out of your teacher's pocket. A tampon. A tampon. No, it's not on the board. So I'm going to go over to the teachers. Hopefully they've managed to deliberate and communicate with each other. If it doesn't show up on the board, does it mean that you want it to fall out? Like you want to see it fall out? We didn't think that hard. Uh, we didn't make it at that stage. All right, Natalie, what do you guys say? What do you guys think is on the board? Is on the board? No, because we have on our phones now. I don't know if you've noticed. Hopefully you haven't, actually. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we missed. Let's see what number eight is. <laughs> Grades. Because apparently you wouldn't want to see that. For sure. Number seven. Ah, uh, yes, the student's greatest fear. <laughs> and finally, let's see what number five is. Toys. Right, okay, let's tally up the points. This is, we've made it past question three, so... So by the end of that round, the students have 232 points. And the teachers have given them 232 points. <laughs> the teachers need to step up. All right, let's go to the question number four. Let's, let's bring Jackie and let's bring Woo! Soraya. Okay, great. All right, here's your fourth question. If rules were reversed, name something a student might give a teacher detention for. Jackie. Grades. Grades. Failing students. All right, Soraya? Not explaining properly. Not explaining properly. Soraya, that's higher. So uh, do you get to pass, do you want to pass or play? Play. Play? All right. All right, Gator, you know the, the question. I know the question. All right, what's your answer? Don't you have to ask it first? I, I thought you knew what the question was. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Really, okay, fine. I'll, fine. If you want me to repeat the question, I'll repeat the question. If roles were reversed, name something a student might give a teacher detention for. Are you happy? Sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> Which teacher is sleeping in your class? <laughs> Jackie's sleeping in class? <laughs> I never met you before. <laughs> All right, Jessica, over to you. You want me to repeat the question? Yes, please. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it's not like it's my job or anything. If roles were reversed, name something a student might give a teacher detention for. Can you repeat that? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> if roles were reversed, it's on all, it's all the screen. What are you doing? Read the screen. <laughs> if roles were reversed, name something a student might give a teacher detention for. <laughs> All right, you took forever. That's a strike for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I think we got the idea. All right. You have two, uh, sorry, you have one strike. You have two shots. Do you need me to repeat the question? And no. Thank God. <laughs> I like this one. Um, I want to say being late for class. Is being late for class on there? Number one, well done. Soraya, over to you. Do you need me to repeat the question? So God help me. I know it. <laughs> okay, great. So tell me. Giving too much homework. Giving too much homework. Good. That's number five. Well done. Gator, you only have one strike. You have two more chances left. Do you need me to repeat the question for God? No, I think I'll be good. Okay, great. So what's your answer? Uh, being on their phones. Being on their phones because teachers are on their phones too much, apparently. No, it's not on the board. 
Jessica, if the roles were reversed, what would be a reason for a student to give a teacher detention? To eat. For eating, because they can't eat, because they're soulless creatures. No, it's not. Was that? Yeah, that was the third one, right? All right, so unfortunately, you got three strikes, so I'm over to the teachers. Get over here. What are you doing? <laughs> we gave you your mark. What are you? <laughs> All right, Natalie, what is your answer? Give me, if the roles were reversed, Name something a student might give a teacher detention for. Skipping or canceling class. Show me skipping or canceling class. It is not on the board. Okay. Apparently that's not on the board because you guys are in class too much, which is annoying by the way. <laughs> Why can't I sleep more than 10, <laughs> 10 a.m., Jackie? <laughs> All right, let's see what we missed. Uh, what's number eight? Being boring. Number seven, please. Taking too long to grade. Number four? Talking too much. And number two? Being rude. Let's see what that's done to the scores. 288. So you guys have still a chance. <laughs> All right, let's move on to question five. Let's go back to Natalie. Let's go back to Gator. Let's keep going. You ready? God. I am ready. You need to stop with your special shots. Uh, what is the first thing you do when you get home after a long day of teaching? A glass of wine. All right, is glass of wine up there? Oh, yeah. Drink is number five, Gator. All right. Having a mental breakdown. <laughs> you obviously teach a lot. <laughs> Cry. Cry is up there. Gator, you want to pass or play? We're going to play. Okay, right. Let's go. <laughs> let's do this. All right, Jessica. Hi. Hi. Uh, How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You want me to repeat the question? I'm all right. Uh, yes, please. Okay. What is the first thing you do when you get home after a long day of teaching? Relieve myself. <laughs> <sighs> Relieve yourself. <laughs> that could be misinterpreted. Yeah. Relieve, what the heck does that mean? Relieve myself. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> God. All right, Jen. Uh, can I call you Jen? Yeah, I okay. like that name. You like that name? Yeah. Good. <laughs> what is the first thing you do after, when you get a home for after a long day of teaching? Sleeping. Sleeping. Is it on the board? Number one. You got to be careful because if they get this, then you guys lose, by the way. Oh, surprise. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Soraya, what is the first thing you do when you get home after a long day of teaching? Watch TV. Watch TV. Is watch TV on the board? <laughs> it's number seven. Well done. All right, you guys have one strike. So don't worry about it. Name, what is the first thing you do when you get home after a long day of teaching? Grading. Grading, because they live, breathe, and eat school. Is it on the board? No, it is not. All right, Jessica, the pressure's all on you. You have two strikes. If not, then it goes over to them. If they get it right, then they get the points. If not, then you steal and, well, you keep your points and you win the game. You ready? What is the first thing you do when you get home after a long day of teaching? I don't know, go to the bar. <laughs> go to the bar. Is it on the board? No, it is not. So I'm going to go all over here to the teachers. Teachers, hello. <laughs> all right. Uh, who's Apparently Jackie's answering. Well, I yeah. I think, okay, fine, let's, let's bend the rules, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, let's just, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, no, yeah, Jackie, da Jackie, apparently. What's the answer? No, hurry up. Come on. Eat. Eat. Is eating on the board? Number two. Well done. The points finally go to the teachers for the first time in forever. Thank God this game is not boring. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's see what that's done to the scores. 81 to 288. And we're on our last question. But first, let's see what the uh, answers you guys missed. Let's see what number eight is. 
Play, play video, video games. games. Natalie, when was the last time you played a video game? I, I think I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago. Miles, how about you? Last night. Last night? What did you yeah. play? Oh, sorry. We're talking about video games? Yeah. I was thinking about something completely. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> no, my bad. My bad. Okay, great. It has to be there. Yeah. All right, let's see what number six is. We. Relax. Same thing. Uh, and number three. What was number three? Shower. Okay, so this last and final round is going to be triple points. So it's anyone's game, probably. All right, let's bring it over to Marie and let's bring it to Jessica. Jessica, get over here. Come on. Here is the final question. Hang on, we're going to put it in the middle. Or right, okay. So this last final question is going to be triple points. Points. Ooh. <laughs> Which means it possibly could be anyone's game. All right, you get two ready? <laughs> Here's the question Name a gift from students that teachers pretend to like. Marie. Bath products. Is bath products yeah. up there? <laughs> no, it's not, Jessica. How about apples? Apples. Is apples on the board? It's number one. Do you want to pass or play? play. All right, let's go. All right, Jenny, how are you doing? A little stressed. Really? Stress feeling depressed. good? I'm stressed, depressed, but well dressed. But so. feeling good? I think so, yeah. Right. Sure you're well dressed? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> name a gift from teachers that. Uh, sorry, name a gift from students that teachers would uh, pretend to like. Ten page essays. <laughs> is ten page essays on the board? No, it is not. Okay, Soraya, over to you. Uh, straight off the bat, right off the bat, you guys already have one strike. Uh, name a gift from students that teachers pretend to like. Mug. Okay, let's see if Mug's on there. Mug is number two, well done. All right, Gator, back to you. Oh, well, we never got back to you, actually. Uh, starting to you, first time, name a gift from students that teachers pretend to like. Flowers. Is flowers up there? No, it is not. Jessica, the pressure's on you, as it is always. No pressure. But remember, if you get this wrong and it goes over to the teachers and they get it right, they possibly could maybe win. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Name a gift from students that teachers pretend to like. How about cards? Cards? Is cards up there? Card is number four. <laughs> We're on a time crunch over here. Jenny, it's back to you. You have two strikes. One more, and it goes over to teachers. Hopefully, they uh, get a chance to steal. Well, not hopefully for you, but to them. They need this. Um, name, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> a lot of these questions were about teachers and you guys didn't get it. What's the deal with that? <laughs> All right, doesn't matter. What? Right. <laughs> Name a gift from students that teachers pretend to like. Scented candles. <laughs> scented candles. Is scented candles on the board? No, it is not. Now we are over to the teachers, and hopefully they could get this and the points. Natalie, oh God. Natalie, what do you think? I'm going to repeat the question. Just go with your gut. Name a gift from students that teachers pretend to like. Go. Chocolate. Chocolate. Is chocolate on the board? No. Sweets. Well done to the teachers. They get all the points. Let's triple that and see what that does to the scores. Take your time. Oh, wait, I teach answers. QM. We just won this damn game. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you okay? Wait. Can we know the other answer? <laughs> All right. Let's see what. Uh, let's see what the other answers that we missed. Uh, what's number seven? That's supposed to be number six. It's a gift, gift card. card. Why would I not like? Most it likely to sack. Yeah, yeah, of course. We love those. Yeah, of course. And let's see what number five or six is. Stationery. So <laughs> pencils, pens, papers. You guys love that stuff, don't you? Yeah, sure. For sure. Uh, all don't right. Get it at the bookstore. At yeah, all. red pen. <laughs> By the end of that final round, the students have 288 points, but today's winners is the teachers with 342. Woo! Teachers, how do you feel? 
I feel amazing. Awesome. I'm indifferent. <laughs> I am so <laughs> indifferent. I don't, I don't win on any score. score. <laughs> All right, so students, how do you guys feel? I'm sorry we're out of time. All right, so thank you guys for playing. Thank you to the people behind the camera. Thank you for the players, and thank you for you. And for you, and for you. If you check under your seats, you get nothing because you're at home. <laughs>